countless as many business owners to get access to capital. But for women, it's even more difficult. Countless studies have shown that female entrepreneurs have a much harder time getting funding when compared to their male counterparts. One woman is doing her part to change that. Karen Khan is the founder and CEO of crowdfunding platform I Fund Women. Let's start, I guess, with the problem and the funding gap. I mean, is it just that there is more men starting companies? No. In fact, female entrepreneurs, we're growing at two and a half times the rate as male entrepreneurs here in the U.S. Um, the, the issue is that there is a complete lack of funding options for early stage female entrepreneurs. And that's the problem that I Fund Women is actually solving. So only 1% of startup founders, regardless of their gender, guys, you can listen to this too, regardless listen of their gender. Up. Yeah, listen up, dudes. Will ever raise VC. So only 1% of companies that any of us start will ever raise VC. So what are the other 90 percent of startup founders do. They max out their credit cards or they try to take out a bank loan to fund their early stage startups. And nobody should go into debt funding the earliest stages of your startup. Or they launch a bad Kickstarter campaign that <laughs> people contribute to and then it you know, fails to <laughs> deliver on its promise. Um, as I understand it, there's also a dearth of women in actual VC firms. You know, it's not just, we're not just talking about the founders who are looking for money, but the people who are making the decisions to give money to startups are unfortunately most often men. Yeah, but also VC firms have their own investment thesis and they, they're in the making money business. So if you're not within their investment thesis, if they're investing in robotics and AI or crypto, if that's not in your, on your deck, it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman or a green alien, you ain't getting funded. No crypto so. now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what we're solving at iFund Women is really the, the lack of funding for early stage proof of concept stage entrepreneurs. And the funding options in terms of going into debt are just a bad way to go. Most startups fail and that's okay, but we always advocate like fail fast and fail cheap. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so we... And the problem really for women, too, is not just about the funding, right? So, of course, most women will tell you that the lack of access to capital is the number one barrier for them to start a business. But half of women will also tell you that lack of access to coaches and mentors who have been there, done that, and can literally show you how to start up is a huge uh, barrier, as well as access to community, which is an another another big thing that women want and need as they start. And yeah, could you talk a little bit about um, what you guys are trying to do in, t in terms of those, uh, you know, building yeah. out a community and building out access to leadership, um, you know, to help your company? Because I think you listen to a lot of VCs who do make it or, you know, companies that started up and they, they did make it out of that that angel investment. And they became yeah. a real business. Yeah. And they said, oh, it was this one person who was buried down the hall who was 23 at the time. But we worked together and we figured it out. Yeah. Um, how are you guys trying to bridge that gap? Yeah, that's a great question. So that's the power of community and IRL and, and being with other humans, right? So the funding gap problem is a, the funding problem for entrepreneurs is is multifaceted. So you've got access to capital, you've got access to coaches and mentors and community. And iPhone Women has built a holistic solution that covers all of those problems in the in the in the problem set. So the solution is crowdfunding, right? A crowdfunding platform where you can raise cash to prove to prove demand for your product or service before you invest in supply. That's kind of the genius of crowdfunding that no one's really talking about. The idea that you should prove demand for what you're doing before you go and waste a ton of time trying to raise an equity round or you know going into debt. So there's the funding piece, but then there's also the coaching piece. So the reason why iFund Women is fundamentally different from any other platform on the market, like the one you just mentioned, is because of our proprietary coaching program we call the iFund Women Method, where we hone your pitch, we help you with your reward strategy to make sure that you are not saying that you can do something that you can't deliver on, very important. We help you build your network. So crowdfunding is when you go out and sell your product and service to people who wanna buy it. So you need to know what your product or service is that you're selling, at what price point, and who is going to buy it. These are the critical pieces that people don't think about when they think about crowdfunding. Hmm. So our coaching program really is a holistic way to teach people how to crowdfund, but also, frankly, teach them how to start up. Who are these women and where are they? We just had Steve Case on uh, mm -hmm. with Revolution. Of course, he uh, co-founded AOL, first internet company to go public, and he's doing this rise of the rest, going yeah. around and visiting uh, towns away from the coast, saying, and it's not <coughs> during, uh, competing really with VC, yeah. but that venture capital basically is going to California, New York, and Massachusetts. And yeah. I do think that a lot of the focus on entrepreneurs in this country yeah. is on the coast. Yeah. Is that, is that what you find with people that want to start companies? Are they all on the coast or are you finding people in the middle? We are finding people all over the world. In fact, we are a platform that 
two weeks ago was available in 25 countries, and now we're available in over 150 countries because we are the first crowdfunding platform to have PayPal One Touch. Um, so we are finding entrepreneurs everywhere. They're in fact finding us because there's such a massive funding gap. Um, and yeah, we have a great company out of Minneapolis called The Coven. Uh, we're seeing tons out of Minneapolis. The Coven is a, the first uh, female-focused co-working space in Minneapolis. They started up two years ago. They funded their proof of concept. They raised $315 thousand dollars in cash on iFund women pre-selling memberships to their space. Uh, so we're seeing, you know, we're, we have women in Omaha. There's a bunch of great entrepreneurs out of Omaha, actually. I mean, there's great entrepreneurs everywhere. You just have to give people a platform and the coaching and the community and people to talk to to learn how to do it. They're everywhere. They're not just in New York and LA and, you know, Austin and Older, they're everywhere. Uh, Karen Khan of iFund Women. Maybe you should get uh, Warren Buffett to be one of your mentors in Nebraska. There you go. Yeah, that's, why, that's, my, that's my idea for you. Is, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We're raising yeah. a seed round, Warren Buffett. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Seriously.